What's going on? Hey, you have to wait and see. Hand him his equipment, Rodney. Hey, right, mate. Not bad. <laughs> You're going to need them. We looking after an animal or maintenance? You're doing a bit of grooming. Hey, some grooming. Right, eh? All right, we'll head up to the yards. Yep. All, All right. right, let's go. After you. I'm at the Hunter Valley Zoo. My good mate Jason has asked me to help him with a mystery mission. There's all kinds of different animals here, different species. Some are just beautiful, some really exotic. Some, a little bit big and nasty. I don't know what Jace is up to, but I know Jace well, and he's up to mischief. He's in there, have a squeeze. <laughs> he's going mad. Yeah. I peer through a little hole in the fence, and looking in, I can see a beautiful and big male antelope. I've got a feeling that this task Jace has sprung on me involves catching him, but I've got no idea how. I've got to trim up his hoofs. They're a little bit overgrown. Because of the soft country we've got here, we've got to stay on top of them before they cause a problem. Fair enough. And how do we catch him? Well, you grab the pointy end, <laughs> and we'll look after the rest. Because of the soft soil here, it's much softer than where they're naturally found. So their hooves don't wear down so much. And when that happens, they can splinter, they can crack, they can become infected and be a big problem. So the goal today is to catch the antelope, restrain him and trim his hooves. But I know catching this wily Indian native is not going to be easy. Everything about black bark antelope are dangerous. They have super long horns, about 600 mil long. They can jump two metres up in the air. It's going to be quite a dangerous operation. <laughs> he's lively, isn't he? Yeah. Ooh. Jeez, he's moving. He's going to be a handful to catch, isn't he? At the Hunter Valley Zoo, my mate Jace and I are trying to catch a feisty black buck antelope. <laughs> His hooves are dangerously long, and if they continue to grow, they could cause him serious problems. The enclosure the antelope live in is massive. We would not stand a chance of catching him in there. The only way would be with a dart gun, but using anaesthetic comes with a risk. Jace has drafted him off and put him into a smaller enclosure. That's where we're gonna do the job. But even having the antelope in a pen doesn't mean catching him will be easy. You'll probably find he's gonna drag you around a bit. Even though he's only 40 kilos, he's pretty strong. So we can get him around over to this side, maybe in the shade. We can work on him nice and easy. I'm a bit nervous. I it's would be. Good to feel nervous. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He's better. an impressive animal, isn't he? He is. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's get into it. OK, Tim, he's going to make his way around. <laughs> yep, grab him by the horns. Yep, grab him by the horns. <laughs> well done, mate, well done. Can I hold the other one? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Up against the wall, yep, let's go. Jesus, he's right? strong, yep. isn't he? Yep. That's better. Yep. Okay. OK. Yep, get these feet up. Hang on tight. Now we've got him restrained, and Jace is on the back. He's up against the wall. Priority is keeping the antelope calm, safe, and as stress-free as possible. We put a blindfold straight on. Thank you. That just allows him to settle. He can't see what's going on around him. Then we can get the job done quickly, painless, and let him go. How's he look? Yeah, just one side's a bit longer than the other, but we'll just shake that up and he'll be fine. Rodney just knocks a bit off the end of each hoof, and that just keeps them nice and level, because if they're uneven, they can limp, one can grow more, can get out of control. All right, one toe's a bit long there. Righto, back's done. Luckily, the much-needed pedicure only takes a few minutes. There we go. How's he look, mate? Looks good. All done. We've finished all the hoof trimming. Now we've got to get him released out of the yards in with the girls safely. Ready? Okay, mate, you ready? Okay, go. Ready? ready? One, two, right. three. It's all yours, mate. Whoa. Job well done. Thanks, mate. What did you think of that? Oh, I loved it. That's I was good. terrified. Yeah. Terrified. It's so unfamiliar for me, but, well, I felt like I caught him well. You're done well. Done he's extremely happy, well. happy, and he's out with the girls. He's good to go. How about if we go and have a look at him out there? I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, go and check him out. <laughs> make sure he's happy. Everything's gone great today, all gone to plan. I really appreciate Tim's help today. It's, it's made it so much easier. He looks like he's settled in, mate, doesn't he? He looks good. Hey, well, thanks for asking me. No worries, mate. Thanks for your oh, help, mate. I'll walk you out, mate. Yeah, Let's good go. on you.